Hey, what's going on guys? Andre Chris, thanks again for joining me. Uh, I got a cool project in the uh, in the loop for today. It's going to be a short one, but hopefully it'll be one that'll uh, that'll work. <laughs> so, um, I'm sure a bunch of you are familiar with these Swiss M5 stoves. Uh, if not, I would go check them out because they're actually one of my favorite stoves um, besides the Transias. Um, the the directions are all in Dutch or Swiss or something, and basically they're the simplest stove you can have. They're two parts. Um, there's a sterno can and there's a little ring that you put on top. So the basic premise of the stove is you open it up, you put that on it. I'm going to do this quickly so it doesn't get too hot for the test. So, and then you light it and that's it. And it doesn't go out easily. So. And of course, when you light it, this is the pot stand. Um, you just put your pot on top. Okay, so um, I want to work this for my Trangia, and I had a couple ideas. Um, the first thing would be to completely, I'm going to show you, completely eliminate these things, which I don't think would work, because then it would just sit kind of like, I'll show you, like that around the stove. Uh, the second thing was to just use it, you know, not modify it at all, and just use it the way it's been it's meant to be used, and that would make it look something like that, which, all right, I'm just going to use my coffee mug for a uh, comparison. It'll work. However, those flames, I don't think would work best um, that way. So I think the best way to do it um, would be to cut these little tabs off. So I'm going to do that real quick. I'm just going to snip all three of these tabs off and then I'll fold it around and I'll, yeah, see what happens. So got a heavy duty pliers here. Um, and then I'll do this so you guys don't have to and I'll tell you if it works or not because I am going to ruin this if it doesn't work. <laughs> oh man, they're a lot stronger than I thought. I wonder what the hell these things are made out of. Okay. All right, so bending it back and forth worked. And then I'm just going to crimp it with my pliers to bring it back to the shape that it was. Okay. All right, so that worked. So I'll show you. That's one tab that's like that already. I'm going to do the other two. And uh, bending it back and forth seemed to have worked. So you know what? I'll just completely unravel this for now to make it easier for me to work with. Okay. And two tabs completely cut off, one to go. I really hope this works because if not, these pot stands are kind of awesome and I will have just ruined it. <laughs> so, let's two cut off. And I should have did it the other way, but it is what it is, right? It's what makes it fun, these DIY projects. Okay. So I have the pot stand with all three of them cut off. I'm just going to bend them to be at least a little bit normal. One, two, and three. This is, like I said, going to be a real quick project. All right. Now I'll form this thing so that it actually makes a circle again. I'll form it around my trangia. Eh, but it's not too bad. Uh, hmm. Still a little tall. You see, doesn't quite fit around it as much as I would like it to. But hey, it is what it is. So, all right. Oh man, that's perfect. I don't think I need to play with that at all. I like that. That is pretty awesome.
I must say. So it clamps on there pretty tight. Yeah, it ain't going nowhere. Um, once again, I'll try it with my coffee mug. No. So fits my coffee mug. It's a flat surface. Um, and let's see, let's see if we got the sweet spot. Where's my ruler? There's my ruler. Tch, look at that. I'll show you, I'll try to get you on camera. We're like exactly one inch to the top of that. Maybe a tiny, tiny bit shorter, but uh, according to Hiram Cook, um, one inch is the sweet spot. So um, I think that's a pretty cool modification to this uh, Trangia alcohol stove. Um, I'll let you know how it works, um, but now I have a very, very, very light pot stand that'll go along with it, and uh, it only cost me about two bucks, and I still have the rest of this canister, which I can fill my old one with, or I have two, three, four more of them. So, uh, thanks for watching my videos, uh, please subscribe if you haven't already, and I appreciate everything everyone's done for me so far. Uh, with the comments, I'd like uh, more comments if you if you could, you know, keep them flowing. Keep uh, let's keep up the discussions. Thanks, guys.